It was a moment of celebration as the family and friends of late Chief Samuel Irowa Ayela Wangwe gave their late father a befitting burial. The activities commenced with a procession from Stella Basanjo Mortuary to the family house where the service of songs took place. The officiating minister admonished the children to copy the good legacy their father left behind. Thereafter, he was laid to Mother Earth at his own residence. Pa Ayala Wangwe touched lives, and people will always remember him for good. So it is a humble exhortation to all that we should always remember that when we have left here, we will be remembered. We thank God for the legacy he has left behind. No doubt he was a mortal, he had his follicles and he had his frailties. But we will take the good part which he left for us, and for us, we would like to be better. Guests were later taken to Military Base Hospital football field to wine and dine with the celebrant. <laughs> The event climaxed with the Thanksgiving service at All Saints Chapel, Uniben, where the children gave thanks to God and described their father. He's a dynamic father that has touched the lives of so many people across the globe. He's a father who is ever happy. You can never be with him and not be in a happy mood. He's humorous, he's kind. He's a lover of people, he's a lover of children. My dad is somebody that I can rely on. After God, my dad is another greatest helper to my life. I miss him so much. Because my dad was a loving father, a caring father, an educationist to the core. He led us to Christ, he made us to know that it is Christ that is above all. That without Christ we cannot do anything of our own. I remember my dad always tells us the only thing I have to will to you is give to you is charity and education. You need to love people, you need to be educated, that is the only way you will stand on your own and be very, very independent. My father left a legacy behind. Those are big shoes that we're looking forward to feeling and we trust the grace of God to make him proud. It's, it's, there's so many words I could pick to use to describe daddy. I mean, daddy lived a uh, fulfilled life. But one of the words that comes strike, comes to mind so much is the word disciplinarian. Uh, one of daddy's favorite scriptures was, See thou a man diligent in his works who will stand before kings and not men. Notice that scripture doesn't say, See thou a Christian or see thou a Muslim or see thou a, a believer or whatever fit you are. He said, See thou a man. And daddy taught us that when you are diligent in your work, when you are hard working, in your world, you will stand before men, before kings and not with men. And that is something that the family, the children, have taken every day. I could say, categorically, throughout my knowing him, he never acted in a manner to suggest that he looked down on me. So I owe him that great respect. I've benefited from his wife's counsel. He was a street disciplinarian and it destabilized Nigeria. A man of pattern discipline. A man that loved God. Late Chief Samuel Irua Ayela Wangwe was born in 1932. He was a disciplined academician. He rose to the position of being a principal to several secondary schools within a dual state. He died in 2020 after living for 88 years of age. I am Eseogene Akborono, reporting for G Plus Media Online TV.